Hi friends and fellow Earth Angels, it's Gladys and welcome back to another one of my weekly Sunday card readings. And this spread will start by covering December 19th through the 25th or whenever you're guided to watch as I always intend these to be timeless readings, meaning whenever this video shows up for you, that is the time that the messages are meant for you. So I have planned a different kind of reading this week and I'm theming it messages from the divine. So I will be delivering messages this week from different aspects of light. So I will be pulling a message from the angels with the Archangel Oracle cards. I'll be pulling a card that will represent messages from your loved ones with the Talking to Heaven deck. I will be getting a message from Ma Mother Mary using the uh, new deck, the pocket guide of Alana Fairchild's Mother Mary Oracle. I will be getting a message from uh, my brother, my friend, my teacher, Jesus, from the Loving Words from Jesus deck. And then finally, I will be getting a message from Creator, God, Source, uh, Father Love with the Love and Light Oracle Card deck. So before I get into it, I was starting to channel a message before I hit record and I wanted to share with you that we are getting an opportunity to redefine what sacred energy looks to us. So we're redefining what money is to us, what love is to us, what family is to us, what uh, life purpose is to us. Um, so many of us earth angels have gone through this metamorphosis in the last two years, started in 2022, filtered into 2021 in this five universal year. So we're getting to redefine what love is. And we just dropped into the Gemini full moon. Um, Gemini, the Gemini full moon represents a joy vibration and understanding to experience deeper levels of joy. We're also experiencing on other levels the resurfacing of sadness, right? So there may be especially in this point in time, um, in 2021, there might be some awareness of the grieving process, reviewing the last few years, what has changed for you? Who are you now through the experiences that you've had the last couple years? So um, you can use this full moon in Gemini to release those emotions, especially whatever you've been manifesting these uh, last uh, few weeks in the energy of the new moon. So let me see here. So we've also experienced now where we've moved into the energy of the Venus retrograde. Venus is the planet of love, beauty, and money. And so with the retrograde, uh, Venus's energy can shine a light on us this week where we need to make adjustments in relation to self-love or um, how we share our love with others, um, how we share our resources and how we work with the energy of money within ourselves. And then also to shifting our energy of what we experience as beauty, right? Um, and getting to see your own beauty as well. So that's why I wanted to connect with the guides this week because I, can, I feel like there could be a lot surfacing this week. And, you know, as so many earth angels are learning how to navigate life in the heart mind, right? The heart mind from that divine feminine intuitive place, right? Remember whether you are um, identify as masculine or feminine, we all embody the divine feminine within us. So we are getting in touch with navigating when we can't see with our physical eyes 
and more so in how we feel, right? And so when we expand in that, anything that is not in alignment of our light, of our with our gifts, with our divine energy, needs to shift out. So I want to offer you some support this week as we're going through this space. And then there are also many people across the world celebrating Hanukkah, celebrating Christmas, um, the energy of love, um, and the magic of the season, right? So um, I resonate with Jesus and, and Mother Mary and God and um, the Ascended Masters, the Archangels um, as my pathway in life. And so being able to connect with that energy on deeper levels, which really is the embodiment of true unconditional love, right? So you're getting to look at yourself from a different, different perspectives. You're getting to, I hope, I pray that you're getting to see your inner gifts and how strong you actually are, how powerful and empowered that you are as you look back on these last couple years. So going into 2022, you're getting an opportunity to redefine, again, what family looks like to you, what home looks like to you, what creativity looks like to you, nurturing, soothing, moving through things in a different way, right? And when we do that, it takes time to learn and experience a new way and a new pathway. So, because so, so meaning we're not always going to get it right, right? We're going to have challenges and hiccups and bumps along the way. So I feel like my word for 2022 is going to be creativity. I talk about this every year at the end of the year, and I always choose a word to be the theme of my, of my year. So 2021, my word was passion. And what I didn't realize was that... My definition of passion in the beginning of the year was uh, an energy that would ignite inspiration and action in creation. (laughs) And that's not what it was. Passion for me was having experiences and connecting with the emotional energy in my body and being able to move through those feelings in a sacred way of learning. And that in of itself ignited a fire within me and really has changed my whole course um, in the work that I do, in my personal life, and how I navigate this world. So next year, my word is creativity. And I would love to explore all facets of that word and process. And so I hope to uh, share more content. I hope to um, create more resources for people to help inspire them on their journey. And so I'm really looking forward to how, you know, the word passion going into creativity develops. So if you are one of those who has been thinking about a word and a theme for the next year, I would love to hear what you're thinking about or what you're feeling um, for 2022. Um, It's always nice to know as we can harness that energy going into the new year. Um, so if you would like to share that in the, um, you know, in the comments below, uh, that would be cool. Um, if not, this would be a really good time for you to start thinking about that. If that's what you choose, just really, you know, you'll start to see it show up in your life. It might be something that you're challenged with. Um, it might be something that, you know, you need more of. Sometimes it's patience. Sometimes it's peace. Sometimes it's joy. Uh, for me, it's creativity. Um, in years past, my words have been joy uh, trailblazer, um, patience, uh, again, passion. Uh, so the, those have been some of the words I have uh, adopted over the years. So anyway, let's get into messages. Again, I just wanted to share with you what we're experiencing this week so you can honor the space that you're in uh, in a non-judgmental way this year. No shooting on yourself. Well, it's this, so I should this. And, you know, this is how I'm feeling, but I feel like guilty or, you know, um, I should. And so we're just kind of clearing out that energy and allowing yourself to be with the space that you're in. All right. So let me start here. Let me open up space. 
inviting in all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, the divine mother and father, and all their holy beings of light who would like to assist with this guidance for you this week, specifically archangels, your loved ones, Mary, Jesus, and Father Love. And I'm going to ask that the messages that come through be for your best and highest good and the best and highest good of all concerned. I can just feel the hands of the light settling over my shoulders for you as well. It's like an energy of I'm here for you. I'm with you. You're not alone. All right, so let's start with the angels. Angels, what message do you have for the Earth Angel Collective this week? What is your message this holy week? What angel wants to come through this week? Let's see here. All right, let's begin. Archangel Uriel. So Uriel's message, brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So Archangel Uriel is the angel of forgiveness. Uriel is the keeper of the inner light. So I'm just going to share with you some ways that you can utilize this energy. So if you are experiencing an influx of emotions or you may be overwhelmed by uh, the feelings of others, um, you can invite in the Archangel Uriel in your life. And emotions can feel like being on a tsunami wave. And when you're feeling that in your body, you may feel it in your stomach, you might feel the he heaviness in your chest, or you may feel the ache in your shoulders, right? So in that space, you can invite the Archangel Uriel in and ask Archangel Uriel uh, for support or help you understand or help you get the messages of uh, why you're experiencing what you're, you're experiencing. And what he can do, it'll feel like he'll pluck you off that tsunami wave and it'll be like he's placing you energetically, emotionally on a catamaran in the Caribbean. So Uriel can light up what you're not seeing with regards to situations, especially if you're asking why. Why is this happening? Why am I experiencing this? Why am I going through this? Right? It really can bring up... Um, uh, a whole influx of um, emotions. And so what happens when I think about being on a catamaran in a Caribbean, I have support at my back, warmth of the sunshine on my face, the air is cooler, and the waves are a lot less tumultuous. And so he is also connected with the angel, uh, with being the angel of forgiveness, right? So if you're finding you're going into this this week, this holiday week, and life looks different. Maybe how you experience uh, your gatherings this year looks different. Um, you know, there might be some words that were said in the past or some things you experienced um, that might be hard to move past. You can invite in the Archangel Uriel to sh shine a light and give you some perspective on how to accept where you're at and the experiences that you're having. Again, that doesn't mean that you like it and that which... Um, created the disruption doesn't mean that you're saying that it's okay but you're really getting to a place to alchemize the energy and learn from it right everybody's in a stage I truly believe everybody's doing the best um, that they can with what they have and when people are overwhelmed and they're depleted energetically um, they can act in ways that they may not if they were in in an abundant space right so um, it's definitely uh, the sage energy <laughs> that we learn how to navigate and move forward and release 
um, those experiences and learn them and being able to move forward from them. So Archangel Uriel if, you have, Uriel, if you're having a really hard time forgiving someone or something or an experience or you feel like you're having a lot of time, hard time letting something go, right? Invite the Archangel Uriel in and he can give you um, some different perspective. He can shine a light and see you so you can see things from a different perspective. Um, he is also the keeper of the inner light, right? I am experiencing many people around me maxed out. Um, they have a lot going on. There's a lot of um, roadblocks in the plans, right? And so, you know, it could just be right down to holiday shopping and having roadblocks or things come up or unexpected experiences and you're not able to get uh, where you need to be and do the things that you did in, in a certain way and so it can really dull our light within especially if you're starting to feel bitter or you're starting to feel resentful or overwhelmed or um, shame in any way so you can invite Uriel in for assistance to ignite the light within remember as earth angels that's our gift to out the uh, to the world um, I I was at my brother's house the other day and I was picking something up and I was saying hi to my nieces and nephew and I just happened to catch my niece um, and the light was on and it was like bright where she was and um, I just peeked around the corner to, to say hi and tell her I loved her and I just wanted to see her face um, and she looked at me with this innocent smile and this magic in her eyes she had that love in her eyes and I can't describe it other than she has the magic in her eyes and I remember just taking that in a mo in, 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 in taking that in in the moment and seeing the beauty of her um, just as she is right you know and she she may struggle a little bit with self-esteem worth and value she's a teenager now and it just struck me struck me that she was seeing the light in me and I was seeing the light in her and it was just a moment that struck me and I was able to pause in that moment and really take it in I remember telling my mom afterwards I hope she never loses that right so that was I was seeing the light that was ignited in her and I was like thinking like that is her gift to the world her radiance her beauty as she is she doesn't have to do any more and then I realized, but that is me too. We were, we were mirroring back this beautiful energy and it was such a quick one minute moment that I gained so much wisdom from that I didn't expect. So when you're present this week, like present in the moment, when you're aware, look for the light. You can ask Archangel Uriel, especially if you're seeing a lot of... Um, challenges and struggles and you know people who are having a hard time maybe yourself too you can ask Archangel Uriel to show you the light of the world and again you may be connected with moments like that that I had with my with my niece that was beautiful and sacred um, and I can still see it in my mind's eye that the light in her eyes the magic in her eyes so that is the gift of the Archangel Uriel and so he's validating your ideas. He's validating um, your light, right? He's validating your gifts, especially those of you who may have the one in your life purpose numbers, uh, which is um, the theme of your life. If you have a one in your chart is um, creativity and confidence, right? So Archangel Uriel could be a really great angel for you to work with. Um, if creativity and confidence is a thing for you, if your life path is an 11, you've come into this life to learn about double creativity and confidence. So Archangel Uriel would be a great angel for you to work with to ignite that confidence within, ignite that light so that you are empowered to share your gifts with the world, whatever that may be. That was beautiful. Thank you, Uriel. All right, so now I want to get a message from your loved ones. I know myself included, a lot of you are experiencing the shifts from the mass loss that we've had on this planet. 
the last couple years, especially our senior citizens, um, the great generation, right? There's been a massive loss in the elder energy. So if you're experiencing that at this time, especially if your grandmother or grandfather or your mom or dad or your great grandmother, great grandfather who's transitioned was a matriarch um, or a uh, like a, a, um, a leader, a very paternal leader in your family, um, you could be feeling the loss of that energy this week, especially with this uh, full moon in Gemini, right? Activating that sadness. You know, I find myself having moments, certainly. Um, but then I also, in that, when I, when I move through that energy, I can also experience great peace and great understanding and great joy uh, through that as well. And remember, this is a soul journey for so many of you. Soul is in singular and soul is in spiritual and higher power in your growth. So I want to get some messages this week from your loved ones to support you. So maybe you take a moment and think about a loved one that's been on your mind, somebody that you may want to hear from. Again, each one of these messages, all of them may resonate with you, or maybe you're watching this for one message from one of these guides specifically. So to, again, take in what resonates. So all right, so I want to connect with the ancestor energy, your loved ones in the afterlife. And I'm going to ask, what is the most important message that you need your family, your loved ones that are still here thinking about you? What is the most important message you need to hear, them, hear see, feel? They, what's the most important message you need to, he, you want to share with them? <laughs> All right, let's see here. going to pull two so one may resonate or both so the first one is I have become one of your guides so oh I can feel the love through this so I feel like those of you who are missing your loved ones they're validating that they hear you they can they can feel you reaching out to them and the symbolism of their hand reaching back is they're here to support you. So if you're wondering about a loved one who has transitioned, they're letting you know that they've become one of your guides, one of your angels, one of your beings of light. Maybe you'll connect with them through their initials on a license plate. It may be their birthday numbers that you may connect with. Um, there might be a certain symbol that you'll see over and over again. Um, it could be an insect, it could be a bird, uh, it could be an animal. Uh, there's so many ways to connect with your loved ones. I know I'm feeling some of you, some of you who have lost fathers or grandfathers or brothers. Um, and, and, I, and I feel, and, and this could apply to a female as well, but I feel the masculine energy of father, brother, grandfather, um, who may have had a special connection to a sports team, right? This might be something for uh, somebody specifically. And I'm feeling the loved one's energy who loved a sports team. You may see hats of that sports team all over, or you may hear something about that sports team. Um, and again, I feel like it's connected to a masculine energy. Brother, uh, like I said, father, grandfather, uncle energy. So if you have lost a masculine in your life who've, who's loved a team, a, sp a sports team, you know, for me, I'm seeing like it could be the Cardinal energy or it could be, uh, it could be uh, the Red Sox here in New England. It could be Patriots. There's so many ass Astros, you know, there's so it's such a dynamic Bruins. The, we're running the gamut here. Um, all those things, I feel like your loved ones are reaching out and saying, you know, especially if they passed uh, young, uh, I feel like they're saying, like, I can now share with you the wisdom that I'm learning on the other side, and you're not alone. 
And so the second card is believe in yourself. You can do it. So some of you, especially with this brilliant idea, some of you may be making leaps of faith. Some of you may be considering or pondering big transitions in your life for 2022. I think many of us have had realizations and we've realized we've needed to make some adjustments that, you know, will, will invoke a deeper sense of inner peace within. And maybe you're wondering about your loved one and really wishing that they were here. I know personally, my grandma was a... Uh, uh, a staple of stability in my life and wisdom and she was so grounding for me and I am certainly missing that as I expand on my journey in in this life and um, you know I feel like if you had a loved one who was uh, a staple in your life of stability and security and support and a solid foundation and you're contemplating big changes in your life or leaps of faith I feel like your loved one is saying believe in yourself you can do it um, and some of you might even be able to hear them saying this like maybe they've always known that you know you've been challenged in confidence in yourself and they're saying believe in yourself I sometimes having those loved ones believe in us is enough for us to take those leap, leaps of faith. And that could be trying something new. It could be transitioning from a situation that's no longer serving you, um, but your loved ones are is supporting you in this leap and this shift. So believe in yourself. And I think it's important here where it says you can do it. You can do it. Again, this is with those. And, and I think we all can connect with this energy. Those that have a one in their life purpose, those that have a one in their life purpose, uh, numbers are going to feel this uh, intensity. But I think many earth angels, one of the things we need to evolve through is confidence in our gifts, confidence in ourself, because we're so non-traditional, unorthodox <laughs> in the way we do things. And that could be a source of feeling alone and by ourselves in this world sometimes. And we're meant to do it anyway. We're meant to become self -so like we're meant to experience that self sovereignty that that solid foundation within and that encouragement and that empowerment from our divine guides that are encouraging us to go forward especially with Uriel and your loved ones now in this message so confidence uh, is being uh, like uh, preyed upon you it's being instilled within you and also the energy that you're not alone you know that your loved ones are still there with you supporting you uh, working with you wow those were beautiful from your loved ones if 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 any of those specifically resonated with you let me know in the comments it is helpful to know um, how, especially with the loved ones, that that message um, might be received, especially if it, if it was a sports team, because that was very specific. All right, so let me now connect with the Mother Mary Pocket Oracle. So I have Alana's bigger deck, uh, and I got these because I love the simplicity of it um, all in one deck. So Mother Mary, the great mother, the mother energy, the maternal energy is being activated on this planet more than ever this is why so many of you earth angels are learning how to self-soothe you're learning how to navigate life in flow activating the energy of comfort and support and this is why your healing gifts are becoming so profound in the healing work that you're doing for yourself that you'll then share it with others so what is the great mother What's the great mother's message for you this week? All right, great mother, mother love. What is the most important message that your earth angels need to hear, see, feel, and know this week? What is your message to them this week? I'm gonna go with this one. So this is the card. And it's Our Lady of the Whispering Heart. This heart card looks familiar. I may have pulled it with a client, but I may have pulled it in another reading too because I've been using this deck pretty often. So Our Lady of the Whispering Heart. So her message is the truest guidance is not always the loudest voice. Sometimes fear and doubt yell while love and trust speak quietly 
but consistently from deep within the heart. Trust in the truths of your heart, even when they seem quieter than the voices of fear within or around you. So much connection here. Believe in yourself. Brilliant idea, right? Listening to the wisdom of your heart. Um, It says, listen and apply the soft, steady wisdom felt within with patience and confidence. So many of you this this week may be activated. You may be inspired. Uh, You may be in a creative space, especially if you're harnessing the energy of true love that's amplified this week. So Jesus, for me, is a symbol, and, and Jesus and Mary Magdalene is a symbol, an embodiment of true unconditional love, right? This is why they... The energy can be interpreted as savior, right? Because in, in, without a person, the energy of love and the energy of love, true love itself can be liberating in freedom. So when we, when we can love ourselves truly, madly, deeply, deeply at a core level, there is freedom in that, in the way that you align and move forward in life and what you attract, right? And so, so many of us are activating the heart wisdom, that unconditional love, and we're aligning away from conditional love. Do for me and I'll do for you. Or even that conditional love on yourself. Like, okay, if I do this, then I'm going to reward myself with that later, right? It never really feels good, right? It always feels like we're cheating ourselves in some way or manipulating ourselves. And we can even do that with the divine. If you give me this, then I will do blah, 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 right? It doesn't feel liberating. It doesn't feel inspiring. It doesn't feel like we can trust like the energy for that. So I feel like Our Lady of Whispering Heart is reminding you that this week, especially um, embracing pause and stillness and silence and nothingness um, and rest, right? Creating space to listen to the silence because the fear energy, what did it say? Fear and doubt? Is that, is that what the energies were? F- yep, fear and doubt. And so if fear and doubt surface this week, you're going to experience that in your mind. Your head is going to hurt. You're, you're operating upstairs in the mental mind, uh, which is the egoic, fearful, doubtful vibration, and when you're operating in the mind, you're, you're, you're trying to recall experiences and problem solving based on experiences you've already had that chances are didn't work out to begin with. So Mother Mary is reminding you about the treasure and the gifts of stillness and quiet and being able to listen to the messages that well up inside of you, almost as if from an empty abyss. Uh, For me, it's like a womb-like space, uh, and I feel it deep in my body. Like, I actually bring my attention down into my body, and it is like a deep, it's like a deep space inside my being, but it's, it's down within my heart, and not necessarily above. And that is where the sacred mother speaks. That is when wisdom comes up, and it's usually compassionate. It's usually soft and loving, encouraging, but it's also consistent and it's persistent. It's not going to encourage you to hurt others or hurt yourself. Um, It's not out for personal gain, um, but almost always for the greater good. Because remember, when you feel good, the people around you feel good naturally, or they'll align out. Uh, And when they feel good, the people around them feel good. So really peace on earth starts from the inside, you inside out. And I feel like the Great Mother is reminding you of that this week. What are you listening to? Are you listening to the voice of influence? Or are you listening to the voice of inspiration that comes from the heart mind? And she's saying, listen, right? I find such a treasure in sitting in my apartment and listening to the silence it's such a peace for me. It's such a sacred, um, energetic space that I enjoy very much where there was 
a large portion of my life where there was always noise around me. I always had to have music playing or I had to have some type of distraction because I wasn't ready to listen to the power. I wasn't ready to, 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 to hear that voice knowing that my life required change in order for me to feel that which I wanted to feel and being able to experience that which I wanted to experience. And I feel like this is why these messages, again, from these beings of light are all coming in in this, it's time for change. It's time to take action and again, redefine what your life looks like and what, what your values are and what's important to you, right? So certainly this year, you've had a lot of experience. The last couple of years, you've had a lot of experiences that you didn't like, right? And you didn't, that were less than ideal that you don't want to experience again. But the gift in that is you now know that which you need and that which you want more of in your life. And you know me, when I experience it, I always say, bring me more of this in my life or something even better. All right, so now I'm going to connect with my friend, my best friend, my teacher, my brother, my master, Jesus. The embodiment of a pure, unconditional love. My savior, in a sense that he has brought me to the light. He has reminded me of my own beauty and my gifts and the blessings that I can offer myself and the world. So I have great honor for my shepherd. Jesus, what message do you have for your earth angels this week? What is the most important message you need to hear them hear you need them to hear, see, feel, and know? Oh, I just took a dig big de- <laughs> I just took a big deep breath on that one. <laughs> oh, moving energy. There it is. You see how that popped out? All right. What do you got for us, friend? Your faith hath saved you. Go in peace. So beautiful. I love the innocence of this darling playing with his hands. Do you see the intimacy and the connection of just being with Jesus, brother, friend, whatever that energy is for you, unconditional love, master. <sighs> Again, I feel like it goes with the invocation of you having a desire to support and, 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 and nurture and, and caretake for people on this earth. Um, there's great peace in knowing that you have this force that loves you so much that it's going to protect you, that it's going to uh, show you the way. And I feel like this is just a reminder. Uh, sometimes we can worry even when in the present moment there's, no, there's nothing to worry about, right? So I feel like, so I feel like Jesus is saying here, um, I've been with you always up until this point. And if you do get in a place of fear or doubt in the future, as you think about how, when, what if, right? I feel like Jesus is saying, I will be there with you then, right? That up until this point, your faith and your trust in me, in, 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 in um, my, my light, uh, not me personally, but Jesus. <laughs> um, I feel like he's saying that your faith in me, Jesus, up until this point, um, has gotten you where you are and you've been safe and protected even when you've been alone. And I feel like he's encouraging you to now go forward as you make adjustments and changes in your life in peace. And there are the sirens, <laughs> uh, which of course is the Archangel Michael. You know, I often see Jesus and Michael working together because this energy can activate fear and doubt, right? So... 
uh, you know, I, I used to work with Jesus and Archangel Michael when I would do space clearing. I used to go into people's businesses and, and our new businesses or houses and, and, and do space clearing. And Jesus and Michael were the guides that Michael would go in and clear out the energy, sever any cords or attachment, clear any emotional energy. And Jesus would come in and he would touch the house or he would touch uh, the person or he would touch the energy of the business and it would ignore night and light and so it's no coincidence <laughs> that these two energies have come up together right so inviting the energy of Jesus in your life if that's what resonates with you can also ignite that light in your life and when you feel that light when you feel that love um, and you feel that support it activates a deep sense of peace in your life despite turmoil or upheaval that may be going on around you so I feel like Jesus is reminding you, go in peace. I've been with you all up until this point, and I will be with you as you move forward. And the sirens are there again. And Michael, too. <laughs> it's so funny. Michael, he's so funny. He's like, me too, me too. He's such a powerful energy again because a lot of this change a lot of this shift a lot of the uncertainty the uncertainty and unknown um as you make these leaps of faith right as you make these changes as you follow the wisdom of the heart it's 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 normal for fear and doubt to come up because it's unknown and jesus is saying come to me right be with me there's some um there's some innocence here where this darling is uh, in a way unsure and using his hand as a way to feel comfortable like can I trust you um, I'm just going to play with you here to feel your energy right so Jesus is saying come to me um, connect with me uh, talk to me uh, and I will lead you, right? I will lead you to peace. Um, and that might be literally golden things showing up in your life. Oh my God. Do you hear those sirens? It's been nonstop um, right in front of my window. I've been sitting, I've been here most of the day and I've not heard any sirens. And now here more come. Michael. I hope you can hear that the way I hear it. I mean, literally, I can hear the the the, the engine uh, rumbling by my apartment. Fear not. So, um, if you um, are familiar with the Bible, uh, fear not. Those words are throughout the Bible in many stories, all throughout. It's interpreted in many different ways. And so I feel like Michael might, but Michael in these messages might be hearing or experiencing those that might be saying, but um, I understand that. I get that. I know what I need to do, but, but I'm afraid, but I have these walls, but I have these blocks, but I have these responsibilities. And I feel like Michael is saying, send me ahead and I can cut those cords and those attachments when you're ready or not. It's completely up to you. So I almost feel too that this energy of moving forward, right? This energy of making leaps of faith or adjustments going forward is always up to you. You are always um, having free will. And so there is no timeline. So you might be feeling the pressure of this, but if you're not ready, that is okay. And I feel like that's what Michael's message is for you, that when you invite us when you invite us, uh, the angels, into your life, when you invite these divine beings in your light, life, they will also move fo you forward on course in a way that's right and comfortable for you. So have peace in knowing that basically you're not going to be pushed off the cliff, right? This person right here is making a choice to take a leap, right? They're not being pushed. They're running and jumping, right? So when you look up and you ask for guidance from your loved ones, they will gratefully grab your hand. So some of you may um, be challenged with asking or maybe, maybe you've forgotten or maybe you're asking and 
maybe it's not coming in the way that, that you wished. Uh, but I feel like Jesus is saying, uh, your faith, your faith is what has pulled you through up until this point and has kept you safe. So go forward in peace, knowing that Jesus and the divine will be there with you too. All right, let me finish up here with a message from Father Love. Father Love, I must feel God's warm hands over mine, over the card deck. I also see the energy of the Holy Spirit um, as well. The energy of divine love is Jesus. The energy of divine wisdom is the Holy Spirit. And the energy of divine power is God in of, of himself. Let me see here. There's more sirens. Hold on. I'm just trying to understand what the message is. Um, Michael is also reminding you to stay in your own lane. You know, there's massive shifts going on in the world. And I feel like an, an influence, right? We all learn from influence. So nothing is good, bad, right, wrong, positive, or negative. But you all know the difference now. You've learned enough to know what feels good and inspirational to pull you forward and what feels like influence that's out of alignment with your natural um, state of being, right, which is peace and love. And so I feel like Michael's messages has been fear not and stay in your own lane it may not do you any good poking your nose in other people's spaces to see what they're doing or not doing, right? Stay in your own lane. And again, I think this connects with Mother Mary's uh, energy of listening to the wisdom of the heart, going within instead of going externally for answers to outside of you, right? Go within, because remember, we're not separate from the divine. We're not separate from creator. Uh, we're not separate from uh, the angels. It's all a part of us, right? Aspects of us, our soul on a deep core level. All right, God, what is your message? What is your overall message this holy week? As we finish out this 2021 year of transition and change, what message do you have for your earth angels, the keepers of the light? What message do you have for them? What is the most important message they need to hear, see, feel, and know from you? Okay, so that one is obvious. <laughs> That's an exclamation point. <laughs> All right, God. Speak words of love. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. I love that we have the full moon here, right? So not only did the father come in the masculine energy, but he also brought in his equal partner, the feminine, right? With the moon energy. Speak words of love to yourself first and foremost, how can you be kind to yourself? I shared with some of you uh, in a reading a while back that I had climbed Mount Washington on a whim. <laughs> Please don't ask how, but yes, I climbed Mount Washington on a whim. I was up at 3 a.m. We drove up. <laughs> we had the most incredible majestic experience uh, because the, uh, the, the leaves were turning and there was oranges and reds and yellows and these beautiful colors. We climbed the mountain. We were just going to go a little bit of the way. We ended up going up all the way to the top and then down. And then we drove home in the same day. <laughs> and so my point is I had a very hard time coming down the mountain. Um, it was later later in the year. So um, the sun set faster. And um, I was really struggling with my own self-talk. And I was really, I noticed that I was beating myself up. I was shaming on myself, like watching other people. Again, this kind of goes with staying in your own lane. I was watching other people fly by me and had such an easier time on the mountain. And on my way down, I 
decided in that moment of, of incredible fear. I mean, it's sketchy. It's not, it's not something you want to do on a whim. Anyway, um, uh, um, uh, uh, we were prepared, um, but like I said, it was just a random let's do it kind of thing before I even had a chance to think about it. But anyway, I refused in that moment to speak to myself with ill will, to shame myself or put myself down in any way. And I decided to lovingly speak to myself all the way down that mountain. You've got this. Slow and steady. Good job, girl. Keep going. Giving myself um, pats on the back. Giving myself um, cheers. Um, And I also felt um, uh, there's a Native American stone energy. I think think the the energy is called Inyan, I-N-Y-A-N. It's a Native American um, energy connected to stone. And I was, and I felt that energy with me as well, speaking words over me. So know that when you speak words of love over yourself, you will then activate other energies that will also speak words of love over you, right? So be mindful, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, right? In in the words that are spoken over you. You want to be mindful that you're surrounding yourself with people who are speaking positive who is speaking positively over you, who are speaking blessings over you, who are speaking love over you because we have enough of not being enough you're not this enough you're not that enough I need this and I need that right there's enough of that in the world where God is saying let me in let me speak to you with with love and compassion let me let me bless your life you are worthy and deserving of so much more right so I want to read the book here Um, the love and light book I want to get some more messages on that so again it's through challenges and adversity that you have a choice you get you have a choice in how you speak to yourself and you also have a choice how you speak to others whether it be in your mind how you speak to others about someone right you have a choice and so again this is not to shame anyone this isn't not to it's just to bring it to surface so that we can see where we still have work to do and where we're growing. So the messages here says, uh, pay attention to the words you're speaking. The truth, dear one, is that your words are either helping or hindering your plans and life purpose. They're either keeping, keeping the mom, excuse me, they're either keeping the momentum going or keeping you at a standstill right? Your loved ones. Brilliant idea. Yes, keep going. Listen to the wisdom of the heart. Go forward in peace. We're with you. Believe in yourself, right? I'm with you. Speaking words of love. It says words can heal or harm, make or break. In the beginning, God said the words, let there be light. So perfect with Uriel. And light manifested out of nowhere, In the same way, instead of talking about your problems, your fears, your failures, and so on, stand on the promises of God in your life. You can give those fears and, what is it? You can give those problems, those fears, and those failures to the Archangel Michael. Um, That's not in the book. I'm just saying that. (laughs) So the book says, continues. It says, sure, you may have complaints or concerns. You may need to share your upset feelings with others. Carefully choosing loving and empowering words are always knowing that God has the answer to every problem. You can square your shoulders, look directly at your issue, dream, or other situation, and declare victory in the mighty power of Jesus. Gosh, I love this so much. Allow God's power to reign in and through you. Avoid the negative talk and begin telling a new story, speaking affirmative words and exercising a God kind of faith. With God as your champion, take the superhero stance and feel, speak, and embody this mighty power. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. That was so profound so fitting to the space that we're in. So I'm going to hold the book here. 
if you want to pause um, and you want to read, <laughs> I love this here. Children shine God's love naturally and you still have the ability to, as an adult. I love that. And that's just the card before. So anyway, here is if you'd like to pause it and read it for yourself and then or take a screenshot. And here is the other page. I love it. It's on card 88. 88 is an abundance number, right? It's a number of power and empowerment. There's so many symbols. There are so many messages here. Six, we're going into the sixth year. It's going to be so, new beginnings for so many of you as you redefine home and family and creativity and connection. And so how can you be mindful about the energy and how you're feeling and the words you're speaking? Uh, going to a thesaurus and writing down words. Um, I do that all the time. Like I will look up um, a a adjectives, right? Loving adjectives or I'll look up adjectives um, like that um, describe something in a good way and I'll just write down the words that I resonate with and I'll connect with the words itself. So this could be a literal feeding feeding healthier words, especially confidence, empowerment, um, unconditional love, uh, peace in your life. And again, this kind of goes full circle where I was talking about my word for next year and you sharing your word uh, if, if, you've, if you've discovered what that word is going to be next, right? So that'll be fun. All right. I think I've said enough. <laughs> All right, let me close space for us. So let me thank all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, the divine mother and father, and all their holy beings of light that gifted you with these messages this week. And I'm going to ask that any healing that was started, oh, and your loved ones too, I want to thank them too. And I'm going to ask that any healing that was started continue for as long as it needs to be done in mind, body, spirit, and emotions in all ways. And so it is. And those are your messages for this powerful, sacred week. Thank you so much for staying with me to the end. Um, of course, if I can support you in any way, information on how to book an appointment with me um, is in the notes below. Of course, you can go through the playlists on my channel to get additional messages. Uh, there is a link to my podcast. I recorded a series of angel um, angel uh, podcasts about my stories with the angels uh, a few years ago and so that link is there if, if that can support you uh, and then also too I have guided meditations coming out so um, I will this e this week be gifting my email list uh, that recording um, and I've decided that that's where I'm going to share information here on YouTube um, an insight timer on my pad podcast site uh, and uh, through my email list. That is where I will continue to stay connected uh, going forward and sharing. So if you want to be there, uh, you can just go to my website. You can sign up for the free download, How to Ask the Angels for Assistance, and you will be part of my list. All right, friends. So thank you so much for being here with me. I am offering gift certificates too. You can find that link on my website, gladysellen.com. If you want to gift a session, you can gift a remote session or a video chat session, or you could gift if you're local an in-person session for somebody who might be struggling, maybe having a hard time. Um, I feel like it's a beautiful thing being able to gift somebody peace. So Thank you so much for watching. I love you. God loves you so much. Trust your intuition. Trust, <laughs> trust the divine. Trust your intuition. And I send you love with heavenly hugs. Merry Christmas if you're celebrating. And bye for now.